Hey guys, it's Jamie here, and I am doing a review on Power Raptor and Dilophosaurus Transport. I think that's what it's called. So, I'm first going to do the Power Raptor. The Power Raptor is a very great mold, I have to say. It's plastic, uh, not rubber like the previous Coelophysis we have. Uh, it has beautiful color scheme. It is not symmetrical, which that is always good on a Lego. Uh, it has two little studs for the feet, and it has a mouth which opens. That's really the only movement on it, though. Um, next we have the Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus is very similar, except it is taller, um, but I believe it's sh shorter. Wait, no, not shorter. Uh, like, yeah, shorter. Yeah, this one is longer. Um... This one also, its mouth opens. That's really the only movement. Um, we have a guard uh, here, which I don't really like it because it's a Jurassic World guard and Jurassic World is non-existent really in Dominion. It's only a figment of the past. We have an Ellie Sattler, which comes in the largest set too. The Therizinosaurus and Giganotosaurus set. Um, it has, she has pretty normal back printing. We have, uh, Ian Malcolm, who, yeah, has glasses. They all have two faces. Um, but he, I love his printing. I don't like how it's different colors, kind of, right here. It, they need to improve their printing on black. Um, now, the actual car. So, we have the car here, which I love. I love how it says BIOS and genetics. Um, I know this isn't really a play feature for any kids who have this set, but I enjoy how it can do that. These move. The doors move, which I love. Um, this you have room here and you have satellite dish back here it also comes with two drink tranquilizer guns yeah it comes with a stun stick and a fire extinguisher so pretty common components for Jurassic World sets um, this goes on. I know what you're thinking. This is how it's supposed to go. The color scheme is a little weird on the top. I thought it was supposed to be like this, but it is not. It's supposed to be like that. Next we have this, which this is just the little transport for the dinosaurs. You can put the Dilophosaurus on. Dilophosaurus does not work as well on it as the Pyroraptor does. Um, I'm going to have to connect this. It, you can see it. There's a little thing and it connects. Connects. Uh, and the Dilophosaurus and Pyroraptor can stick on. The Dilophosaurus isn't perfect for it. I'm gonna go Pyroraptor. So this goes down. Um, these move up. This also moves up. And put two characters in here. And they drive away with a dinosaur. It's a really good set, but a little much for $45 now. I, they, priced up most of the figures well not figures the sets of five to ten dollars so it does unfortunately affect the it i 
luckily got this set before the price up, so I did get this set for $40. Um, yeah, if you go on Target.com, you may still be able to find some of the sets that were will only be the original price, really. You can't find this set, the Dilophosaurus Transport, uh, or Triceratops set at Target, though it's a Walmart exclusive. And, well, you can also find it at Lego, because it's Lego. I have some Target exclusives, so, like... This isn't a Jurassic World set, but it's a Star Wars set. You can. Uh, it's the Resistance Transport, which I love this set. Uh, I've di I'm dying to go to Galaxy's Edge because I am a huge Star Wars fan, but uh, I hope to go soon but yeah it's a good set but for 40 dollars i would give it an 8 out of 10 but for 45 a 7 out of 10 but i would give it my 8 out of 10 because i did get it for the 40 dollar price so yeah this set is awesome and it's really good yeah and these are the figures again those are the dinosaurs um yeah again love this set little too much for 45 45 dollars is a little too much but i did get it for 40 so i am lucky bye it's been jamie remember to like and subscribe or i don't know legos will go up a billion dollars bye it's been jamie again remember